Scenes resembling a war zone. Security forces fire at protesters and they fight back with homemade bombs. For weeks there have been protests and counter-protests. It all began after a ruling by the War Crimes Tribunal set up by the government to investigate abuses during the 1971 war for independence from Pakistan. It convicted three top leaders of the opposition Islamic party, jamaat e islami of war crimes. But these protesters wanted more. Tens of thousands of Bangladeshis, many of them spurred by social media, took to the streets to demand the execution of all of those convicted. I'm here because I believe in the liberation of Bangladesh. I believe in the liberation war of Bangladesh. And I believe that the people who killed the millions of people during 1971 have to be tried. I believe in the banning of the party, jamaat e islami and all its other forces. But opposition party protesters say the convictions were politically motivated and have called for a three-day nationwide strike. The root of the problem in Bangladesh, one political force, they want to use religion as, as a tool to come in power. The other political force, you can say that they, they do not want that the religious uh, uh, politics should be entertained in the, in the country. The issues are long-standing and have deeply divided politics in Bangladesh for decades. At the end of British colonial rule in 1947, this region of India became East Pakistan. But in 1971, after a nine-month-long war for independence that India supported, Bangladesh became a free nation. It was a war that jamaat e islami opposed. The pro-Islamist party, along with West Pakistani troops, are accused of killing millions of Bangladeshis and raping thousands of women during that war. jamaat e islami denies those charges, and for years, many of the key leaders have remained free. But justice for those war crimes is an election manifesto for the ruling party. And as Bangladesh faces elections later this year, analysts fear more violence is imminent. Samnima Uras, CNN, New Delhi.